I'm Lauren Kitchens, online cake instructor at Craftsy.com, and I'm going to show you how to quickly make modeling chocolate. I've melted one pound of white chocolate chips that I bought at a grocery store, and I also have half a cup of clear corn syrup, and you can also use glucose if you can get your hands on that. So in my melted white chocolate, I pour in my corn syrup, and now we start mixing. You don't want to mix fast, and you don't want to mix too much, but you want to make sure that the white chocolate makes contact with the corn syrup. You don't want any part of white chocolate not touching corn syrup. You want the whole thing to seize, not mixing very fast, and it only took about 20 strokes of my spatula, folding in, scrape the sides of the bowl, scrape the bottom of the bowl, make sure that there's no white chocolate that has been untouched by corn syrup. And now we'll turn our chocolate out onto a piece of saran wrap. Folding the saran wrap over the modeling chocolate, pressing all the air away. And by tomorrow, this modeling chocolate will be ready to knead into a soft, pliable consistency. I have some modeling chocolate that has set overnight and it's ready to be kneaded. And I want you to notice it's really slick and kind of greasy. And it's very hard, it's not very pliable. I'll break this up into chunks and knead it into a workable consistency so it turns into modeling chocolate. It's even lighter in color. I've worked all the fats in. It's really workable. It's like a clay. It's like a workable clay made out of chocolate. And the great thing about modeling chocolate is it can defy gravity without drying or setting. It's instantly ready, it just needs to be cool. If you like this tip and wanna learn how to decorate cakes with modeling chocolate, check out my class, Cityscape Cakes, on Craftsy.com. Yeah.